What's going on, Mushroom Family? Today, I'm going to teach you how to deal with tub contamination. Now, in dealing with tub contamination, um, trike, any green stuff, anything you don't want in your tubs, the reason your tubs get contaminated is because of the lack of airflow or fresh air exchange. And I have got two fans running in this elongated grow room, keep the air flowing 24 7. Um, and that really seems to. I personally haven't dealt with much tub contamination. Um, I make sure that they've got plenty of fresh air exchange. Like I said, I've got two fans running in here 24 7. So we've got constant airflow through the tubs, and if they need more, you can see my other videos of how to properly care for your tubs, mist them, and give them recess at least an hour a day, open the tops up, and let them breathe. Um, and you really if you don't if you have a designated grow room or a spot where you're actually doing it the growing you really don't have to worry about contamin or opening up the tubs or anything weird getting in there simply because you have a designated spot and if there's you know no other foreign stuff or objects going in it, you know going in there then there's little chance for contamination to get in the tub and if you're sterile using your isopropyl make sure you've got that and you always want to be gloved up I see videos all the time of people setting up tubs and they don't even have gloves on I'm sorry I can just see the the trike when they're setting their tubs up without gloves not sterilizing it's like oh my goodness um, but no that's you want to stay sterile and make sure that you are as clean as possible that is number one airflow fresh air exchange that is number one that you want to help keep contamination out of these number two as I said at the beginning of the video hydrogen peroxide people are gonna look at that and say are you insane no it works it works if your mycelium is mature enough it will not hurt it at all if you see a green spot I kid you not take your mist bottle cap or sprayer nozzle and we're gonna put it directly on there look at that boom now you got your hydrogen peroxide sprayer and you want to spray the spot maybe a little bit surrounding and like I said make sure you spray it and it will at least stall it you may be able to limp the tub through to get your fruits out of it and after doing this I would sterilize a pint glass 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 a pint glass something big enough to fit over that spot if you can find something big enough take sterilize that glass and press it straight down over the spot to the bottom of the tub helping it not to uh, trying to help contain it essentially and as I said dousing it with your hydrogen peroxide and then putting a pint glass or you know a wide mouth jar something that's glass that you can fit over the spot and just press it to the bottom of the tub all the way to the bottom and just leave it that will help contain your contamination area help contain it and potentially will stop it from spreading to the rest of the tub and I've had I've helped people out with this all the time that send me pictures hey can you help me is this good and it's like no it's not you're gonna need peroxide spray it spray that spot down and do the glass trick and I have had a bunch of people 
come back to me and show me their fruits that they came out with that just limped the tub along and wound up working out great for them. And it's, I honestly, when my LC broths are about to go to the fridge, such as this one, beautiful, I will put one or two cc's of peroxide I will spray it directly in there before these go to the fridge for storage once they're mature enough got a decent looking culture in there and yeah before I put them in the fridge I will blast one or two cc's of hydrogen peroxide it helps keep the water sterile and helps keep these longer I'm telling you I would not steer you guys wrong I promise you that so I've been doing it Ever since I've been doing my own LCs, it's worked out great. The peroxide trick with tubs, keep your airflow going. You want, you want air moving through these tubs almost at all times. And if you can't, that's why they do the dub tub method. So that you've got a constant, you know, you've got some air. Sometimes these holes, it's almost not enough for them. Just with, if you don't have any air movement or something like that so you want to keep some air moving through these tubs that will help keep your trike out it will it will just help prevent contamination overall keeping the airflow through the tubs and as i said if you run into a problem hydrogen peroxide you guys i'm telling you right now if you got contamination you might as well try it and see if and isolate your tub of course you want to move that tub away from all the rest of your tubs that's another main main thing i forgot say that is number three you want to isolate and quarantine that tub and get it away from all the rest you don't want it affecting everything else you've got so that's number three and with those three things like i said you could potentially save a tub and lip it through and the fruits will be fine it's you know it doesn't matter if it's contaminated or not i mean you can still grow the fruits in it and the fruits will be you can save the fruits they'll be fine and like i said you've really got nothing to lose if you see a big green spot and you're unsure it's like watch this video and use some peroxide do the glass trick and see if you can limp it along to see if you can get a flush or two out of it i mean like i said you're gonna have to throw it out anyways so why not Try the Mike O'Blano way and try to save your tub. So that's what we're here for, y'all. Try and help pop these mushies out and do it as quickly as possible. It is a process. It does not go too quick, but... And doing what we can to try and help you guys save your tubs. And, and I've just got that question a bunch here in the last couple weeks of, Hey, can you help me? And it's like the Brox. I've had one guy send me the fruits back it's like dude it, it worked it's like hey man you know i i want to see you guys succeed that's why that's why i'm doing these videos and try to etch it's you know getting into this it was if you're on the internet looking at stuff it, it will contradict itself through at every step there's so many different texts you really just got to find your own thing man and if it works it works i mean if it doesn't it doesn't and like i said hydrogen peroxide to hit your contaminant spots try and save your tubs and keep that air moving guys so you want air flow through the tubs um that is the number one cause for contamination is lack of fresh air exchanger airflow and that is going to be it I'm sorry it's a little longer video you guys but had a few things to explain and i it will help try and limp your tubs through if you do run into contamination in your tubs that will at least, um, like I said, you may be able to get a flush or two if you can lip it along and that works. And see what you can get out of it. Like I said, you're going to have to toss it anyways, so why not try it? Alright you guys, I hope this video helps a few of you and I will see you next time. Alright guys.